This is a Texas Instruments graphing calculator. This is a Texas Instruments graphing calculator? The TI-92 came out in 1995, really early January 1996, but who's counting? With a suggested retail price of $250, it can commonly be found now for under $25 on sites like eBay. The brick of rugged plastic was big to some and bigger to others upon introduction, weighing almost one and a half pounds. That's as much as a three inch stack of floppies, an outlawed due to its QWERTY keyboard. This is of course a common point of contention as it provides no extra function yet creates the bannable designation of computer. To take apart your TI-92, you undo all the screws on the back which you can see I was having a very hard time with. Don't judge me. The TI-92 is solid, slow to fault, and slower to graph, containing a custom and proprietary version of the 1979 16-32-bit Motorola 68000 processor running at 10 MHz. Finally, no Z80. One megabyte of storage, populating the rear expansion port in my case, 128 kilobytes of RAM, and built-in basic functionality. Several display drivers finish the facilitation of many layer PCB furnishing. Ah, the display. The original 92 projects a supplementally subpar 128 by 240 pixel screen. Although competent in resolution in terms of general task completion, contrast is abysmal at any setting, and the blue and green LCD is the biggest drawback of the original TI-92 model. Later versions, notably the 2 and Plus models, improved upon the screen, among other things, and are therefore more competent. Though all retain the 12 line 40 character viewing area, the use of a specialized video output port on the top of the device can partially remove any issues inherent to a low contrast blurry LCD, and along with the classic I.O. port used for updating firmware and loading over 50 ga playable games with a real D-pad make up the majority of peripheral communication interfaces. Good luck finding an external video cable though. The rear expansion port allows for firmware ROM upgrades to more capable versions such as those found on the 2 and Plus calculators. To reiterate, communication between the TI-92 and a computer comprises of a classic and economically conical connection through a serial bus and a familiar proprietary mail cable. All possibly needed 2D and 3D graphing functions are present, and CAS algebraic manipulation software boosts general application. The software interfaces are pleasurable and intuitive even 20 years after the product's initial conception. A 2006 discontinuation of the final iteration of the TI-92 hasn't stopped Amazon.com from selling the calculator new for under $100. And even for that price, I have to wholeheartedly recommend it. Thanks for watching and go watch some of my other calculator videos, which is a recording and possibly in the future don't exist. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.